Hey guys, it's Liv here, bringing you guys a discussion video on if Shadow Calyrex might be too OP for Ubers. If you guys enjoy, of course, leave a like down below, comment, subscribe if you're new, uh, check out all the links down below, including to if you are looking for Ubers teams, a couple Ubers teams, one of which does feature Shadow Calyrex um, on our Pokemon Pro page. We also have an OU team on there. There will be more teams, obviously, as we go down the line throughout the generation, but I did figure out just mention that because there obviously might be some Ubers players who might want to try some of these sets. And I do have one team with Shadow Calyx on there. Uh, it does feature one of the sets and I'll go over that in a bit because it's personally my favorite set anyway. Um, so yeah, uh, with that being said though, let's just get right into it. So Shadow Calyx, I think the first thing that we need to start is for anyone who doesn't know, uh, Shadow Calyx is a Pokemon with the stats shown on your screen right now, 100 HP, 85 attack, 80 defense, 165 special attack, 100 speed F, and 150 speed with the Ghost Psychic typing. Now, it, even just in general, the speed tier would normally especially be a really good speed tier, and the special attack would be pretty... It would be a little high for Ubers, but it wouldn't be anything astronomical. Just comparing it to National Dex format. So let's start with, like, National Dex AG, let's say. Um, because this is obviously the format that we should probably look at the most, because there's the most amount of mons here for speed and all that. So, in terms of faster mons, even in National Dex, there is Alakazam Mega, Pheromosa, Ninjask, Deoxys Speed, and Regilecki. And for mods that hit harder, there is just enough to go over the screen, but there's Mega Mewtwo Y, Deoxys Attack, Kyogre Primal, Mega Ray, Alakazam, Zerka Tree, Mega Gengar, Kiram White, Hoop Button Bound, and then Ultra Necrozma, and then you get to Shadow Calyx. So that's the National Dex. So it does still hit high, and it is still really fast, it, even in National Dex. Now let's compare it to regular. So if we go to regular now, we lose just about half the Pokemon that do a pace it naturally. Uh, obviously there are Scarfers that hit around, I believe the 80-ish mark, like it's mid 80s that outpace it, give or take. I think it's 84, 85, something around that. Point is though, is there's not a lot that outpaces it without a Scarf. And even with the Scarf, it does take a fair bit to outpace this mod. So that's that's a little high. Uh, on top of that, Special Attack is now the third highest Special Attacker. Uh, as we saw, a lot of Pokemon were Megas, Primals, and then Ultra Necrozma, all of which got cut. This is now one of the hardest hitting mods. On top of also one of the fastest mods in the format, you also pair that with the Ghost Psychic typing, which if we look at the Ubers tier list, super effective, super effective, neutral, 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 super effective, neutral Genesect, uh, super effective, super effective, neutral, 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 super effective, oh, no, neutral, sorry, uh, super effective, 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 uh, and then neutral, 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 super effective, neutral resistant finally resist and then neutral neutral super effective neutral neutral and then neutral so it hits most of the tier for neutral if not super effective and it has one resist out of natural ubers now there are some viable pokemon that do resist otherwise stuff like t-tar doesn't resist the stabs or well, does resist the stabs mandibus does resist the stabs uh, i think grimstar was like an okay mod this format if i remember correctly at least it wasn't pre nat deck uh, pre dlc 2 uh, and, and that's also resist, but there's not a lot of viable resist to this stab combination, which, okay, that does add on, it makes it a bit more terrifying. And as if that wasn't enough, we have the ability as one, which is basically unnerved plus Grimnay, which is a special moxie. So, you know, the hard, one of the hit, hardest hitting Pokemon and one of the fastest Pokemon now is a way to boost a special attack just because it kills something, which it's going to be very easy to do with this typing, this speed and special attack. So... In my opinion, that already gives it an edge over Zacian Crown, which Zacian Crown is still one of the fastest Pokemon in this format, it is literally right below, which is another edge thing it has. It's able to come in and pretty easily pick off Zacian Crown, I might add, and then just get a special attack boost, which to so easily come in and beat one of the hardest Pokemon to counter in the pre-DLC format, this was easily considered the, one of the best, if not the best Pokemon in Ubers in pre-DLC 2. Uh, that, that's a lot. That That's just an astronomical amount about how good this Pokemon actually is. And not only that, but if you take that and consider the fact that they can't run resist berries for this, which, I mean, to be fair, I don't know how many Pokemon were resi running resist berries for Ghost or Psychic before, but the fact that you can't even do that is obviously a lot. On top of the fact as well that this Pokemon just in general has good enough coverage to where it can hit stuff like a Veltal, Titar, etc. with stuff like Pollen Puff, as you can see on this spread, or Draining Kiss or Leaf Storm even, uh, for stuff like Titar and a Veltal of course. So there is definitely a lot of options this thing has. It has a lot of good set variety too with its bulk and typing of course playing into that which we'll get into the set specifically in a bit. 
Uh, but I think the one last big thing to mention is Dynamax. So Dynamax both plays into this thing's favor and out of this thing's favor, in my opinion. Uh, being able to Dynamax, of course, does give way for stuff like... Uh, just in general, fatter mods like Ho-Oh to be broken easier, uh, Zyre Complete to be broken easier, in complete form at least. So it does definitely give way to break stuff just in general easier, especially once you get a plus one or a plus two in. So this mod definitely does have a lot going for it. It makes stuff like Draining Kiss a lot more viable to hit a Veltal with, especially if you plot on the switch. It would need to be either Scarf, uh, offensively boosting with Sucker Punch, or it would need to... Actually, I think Sucker Punch might just raw kill, but I forget. Um, but even then, though, you would also need to hope the terrain isn't up because Psychic Train would obviously invalidate Sucker Punch at that point. So there's definitely a lot going for it in favor of Dynamax, of course, especially when you could just click a Max Mindstorm and get rid of Priority, which also does hurt Mars Shadow, which is one of the better offensive counters to this with clicking Shadow Sneak. So this does have a lot going for it, in my opinion, uh, especially with the Dynamax, though. It does also make stuff like a Bell Teleport take hits better if it does Dynamax versus it. So it's a double edged sword, though. I think it plays a lot more into Calyrex's favor than out of it, in my opinion. Uh, so let's get into specific sets now. Now that I've covered just the basics of what makes Calyrex so good, let's cover what it does. So one of the more standard Calyrex sets is Specs. So Specs Calyrex does pressure stuff like a Veltal even a fair bit because of the fact that you are plus one clean Astral Barrage. Uh, if it's not AV, it's taking around a third, if not half, depending on how offensive or like what the spread is. I'm pretty sure most of Veltals take a third. I'm assuming you'd have to be like like minus spinef to take half, but maybe I'm wrong. Uh, maybe like a modest can do that, but no one's really running modest Shadow Cali because Timid is so good and you need it to beat other Shadow Cali. So uh, choice specs, natural plus one special attack boost, of course. The typing is so good and so hard to resist anyway that you're usually pretty free just clicking that. And without pursuit as well as Jen, you don't have to worry about getting pursuit trap, locking into a ghost or a psychic move. So Titar isn't going to actually pressure you at all because you just switch out into a resist. Like, uh, for example, a Groudon. Groudon would be an easy switch into Titar, and it's a solid pair with this too, in my opinion, at least defensively. Uh, there's also stuff like, for example, um, you probably wouldn't switch into Duskman, but I mean, I guess you could. Uh, Zamazenta Crown, I guess, would have a niche at that. I guess there's not a lot of switchings, but like Grana would be a huge one. Dialog would also be a huge one. And even outside of resist, there's a lot of fat mods that can take that hit. For example, uh, as I said, Duskman can definitely take a hit. Um, and at the very least, try and outpace and go for like a Sun Steal. Um, also, stuff like Giratina can definitely take a hit. Even for Crunch, it can take a hit. Um, so there's definitely mods that can switch into Titar. Even outside of Ubers, there's stuff like Hippo, of course, they switch in. Though I don't think Hippo is being run at all. Uh, but there definitely are mods that can switch into Titar. So just being able to actually just switch out of Shadow Kelly into a Titar check is obviously really nice for it because it's such an easy mod to switch into, in my opinion. And also a Veltal as well. Anytime a Veltal comes in, Cernius is just such a free pair with this Pokemon as well to beat stuff like a Veltal, Titar, etc. And it's such a free switch into a Veltal on top of that. So it's just a really naturally good Pokemon that pair with it. Also stuff like Kyogre will blow back most Pokemon anyway with a Specs or a Scarf Water Spout. So again, this has a lot of good partners with the Specs set to where you can freely lock into a Ghost move and then not be phased out by any sort of Dark type. So Specs does have that benefit as well as being able to trick Pokemon that would otherwise maybe try and like just out bulk you or try and go for a setup on your Switch. So that does definitely play into how good this Pokemon can be. Uh, Paul Buff is really here for Titar, though you can easily do Draining Kiss for a Veltal or Leaf Storm to hit Titar a little bit better while dropping Special Attack, of course. But if you're killing Titar anyway, then you just spam Astro Barrage the rest of the game after you switch out. So it's really not a huge deal. Also, a uh, benefit to Leaf Storm, I guess, is if you max, you could destroy Kyogre with a uh, max overgrowth. So it definitely does have some benefits to running Leaf Storm, though I personally think that Paul Puff is the most middle ground option because it does still hit a Veltal at least neutrally and it does hit Titar super effectively. Uh, next up we have is the Life of Variant. Now, this is the mention that I said I had been using on my teams. Uh, as I said, there was one set I was using. It's Life Orb Nasty Plot 3 attacks. In my opinion, this is the best Calyrex set. Uh, it, at the very least, it's either Specs or this, in my opinion. Uh, Draining Kiss is here for a Veltal because you can get the plus two up on a switch, then go for Max, and Max Draining Kiss should either after Rocks kill AV, or if it's not AV, then it's just going to kill anyway. Uh, as well as you could potentially take Sucker Punch as long as Terrain is up, which it's very easy to pair this thing with a Lele. I'm telling you right now, it's ridiculously mindless. Uh, I have a team actually with Lele as well that I, I am meaning to feature. I will get it on the channel soon. On At least on a... Well, I have used it on the channel. I used it in like one or two games, but I have fine-tuned it a bit. So I'm gonna try and get a Wi-Fi battle with it. But I do think that Lele as well is a really fucking good partner with this Pokemon with a Terrain Extender. Uh, it gets past checks so easily because a lot of checks do rely on priority for this thing. And they don't have it anymore. So stuff like Sucker Punch, Grimmsnarl, stuff like Shadow Sneak, Marsh Shadow, no longer actually get around this in terrain, which is 
really, really huge for this Pokemon. Especially with that typing being so weak to stuff like Shadow Sneak and Sucker Punch, that does help significantly when beating Pokemon like Grimstyle and Marshadow, because you're able to nuke them if you max at that point. So, well, max at least for Grimstyle. You might be able to beat it anyway, plus two Draining Kiss, I'm not sure. I don't know the Calyx for it. Um, but at the very least with Max, you'd obviously destroy it. And then Marshadow, you could just Astro Barrage at that point. It would need to be Scarf or Sash to get around you. And even with the Sash, Hazards are so easy to pair with this thing. As I think I mentioned, uh, webs are really, really good for getting around stuff. If I hadn't, webs are really, really good for getting around a lot of Scarf checks besides the Veltal. So webs are really nice on top of like Hazards with Rocks. Shuckle is such a phenomenal partner with this. is basically a guaranteed pick in my opinion. Shuckle, Lele are so mindless for support. And they basically make this thing near unbeatable, in my opinion. As I said, there is still some counterplay. Yveltal is a great option, but it's so limited how much your counterplay actually does at that point when you give it support like Lele Shuckle, or even just partners to break potential counters, stuff like, for example, uh, Xerneas and Kyogre both tear through, and they're naturally good Pokemon anyway, so you don't even need to worry about resorting to niche options, because they're going to be mindless options anyway. Uh, another good set on this is Expert Belt. This is a set that actually, uh, along with a spec set that Amazing Mo had ended up building for Ubers, it's just a life up set without taking chip. So you could potentially fake out like a Scarf variant or like a Specs variant if the per if your opponent doesn't calc, because you don't take life orb damage. Uh, you can also fake out any sort of other item, so your opponent wouldn't necessarily get the calcs right if you do then click an uh, Expert Belt hit on a Pokemon that would actually matter versus. This still is able to run plot successfully because you're not locked in moves like a choice variant would. You're still speed tying any other Shadow Kelly, so it does have a lot of benefit to it. Uh, I'm going to skip over real quick because I think this is the next logical set, is the subplot set. So we covered a lot of plot variants. I think a subplot as well is really, really nice. I did find that subplot was running Psy Shock. Uh, you could also interchange that with with a uh, Draining Kiss in my opinion to actually be able to hit Darks. Though if you pair with a good enough Aveltal or Titar, etc. check, you don't really need Draining Kiss. As long as you kill the Titar and Eveltal, you just need to dedicate a Mon to it, which isn't that hard in all honesty. Marshadow can easily get around Titar, and in terms of Eveltal, you have stuff like Aleki, you have stuff like Xerneas, so there are definitely options that are really solid around both Pokemon. So you could easily just go with a dual stab set and start tearing up. Uh, subplot as well, especially with Draining Kiss, which is why I personally think Draining Kiss is better on subplot, helps you get around stuff like Eveltal going for Sucker Punch because you sub on it, then you go for an option such as a max. Uh, a max what you call it max starfall and you could do an extraordinary amount to it especially if you do have a booster two up already so in general subplot is really really damning as well as sub also does help with stuff like shadow sneak of course um so yeah i do think this pokemon is really really good on a subset it's definitely terrifying you can also throw on salak i guess uh salak would of course if you're subbing help get around other shadow cali though i personally do prefer the leftovers um, but to each their own, of course, both are really good options in sub. I didn't think it was worth making a sub Salic set because it's basically the same, just Salic Berry. Uh, finally, we have Choice Scarf Cali. Now, I have seen this pop up a bit, and I don't actually know what they're running on Choice Scarf variants personally, but I have seen it pop up a bit for sure. Over the last two days, I've played probably three or four of them, and it's definitely a really good option, specifically around Shadow Cali and Ditto. Ditto is also a really good option with a Choice Scarf to take advantage of Shadow Cali sweeps. So if you're running a Scarf set, you at least go for the Speed Tie, and if you win the Speed Tie, you basically win the game if your opponent's counterplay actually is a Ditto. Uh, on top of that as well, you're able to outpace other Shadow Calyrexes, which is huge, as long as they're not Scarf or Salic. Uh, that's obviously really good for you, especially if you do have webs, and I, I do still think that webs are a good option with this, to get around other Scarf Shadow Calyrexes, other Salic sets. So I do think the Scarf is good, but it's obviously, I, I think that webs are good with the Scarf set, though they're obviously not as neat as with like a Specs or a Plot set. In general though, this set is still really good. Uh, in the pers personal opinion for the current format, I would say Life Orb or Expert Belt are probably the best because you can Dynamax. However, when Dynamax does get banned, I think a Specs will probably be like the premier set. I mean, to be fair, a lot of people I'm sure probably would think the Specs is the most premier set already because it's just the highest boosting off par and it just does break so well anyway and it's easy to switch out of as well without taking any sort of Life Orb chip and it still does break astronomically well. So I'm certain that people will argue that Specs is already the best set. However, I think it is definitely in contention with Life Orb at the moment. Though once Max does get banned, I think that Specs will be the clear best, if not a Scarf variant or even just a subset. Uh, in general, though, Shadow Cali does have a lot of options going for it. As I said, there are some coverage options you could easily cater your team with, based on like fifth move slot syndrome, I guess at that point, or even just changing a set, like changing an item or two. So this mod does have a lot going for it. Uh, in terms of support, this also does have some okay status options, stuff like Encore, of course, is a not bad option, same as Disable. Uh, we saw a sub Disable Mega Gengar running through Uru, so I think this could definitely pull it off, though I think it's not going to be nearly the same degree as Gengar could, obviously, because Gengar would trap. 
So, uh, Encore and Disable are obviously cool options. Uh, you do have Leashy, which is cool. I know that's what Joey runs on his subsets. I'm not personally a fan of Subleech. I think a subplot is just a lot better. But to each their own, uh, Haze is like, okay, I guess. I don't know why you'd run it, but it's there. Uh, I'm certain that maybe there'll be a point when someone decides to be cheeky with it and run Haze. Not a good idea, but someone will probably do it. Taunt and Willow are also okay options, actually. I think Taunt's actually really cool on Shadow Cali because it's obviously really nice to potentially taunt stuff that might go for any sort of status, I guess. Uh, especially if you were to maybe, let's say, lead off with this versus like a Xerneas, you can obviously stop it from going for taunt. Though, I don't know why you'd ever really click it over an offensive move personally. Though it is a cool option nonetheless. Uh, it's also, I guess, cool versus the leads. Though again, I don't know why you wouldn't just attack most leads. You do hit most leads super effectively. Uh, Willow is also actually really cool. I do think Willow has a legitimate place in this upset because you can Willow stuff like Marshadow or Repelto that try and sucker punch you and then get around them that way. So I do think Willow actually has a place personally on Shadow Kelly, especially if you were to drop plot on this sort of set. I think sub Willow and then like Draining Kiss and Astro Barrage could actually be really cool. Regardless though, uh, Shadow Kelly, I do think it's personally really broken. I don't know if it'll get banned like quick ban. Definitely won't get quick ban in my opinion. Uh, the only other mod that got quick ban ever was Mega Ray. And while I do think this is more broken than Mega Ray personally, I think that there definitely is at least a bit more of a of a willingness to allow this mod, I think. And I think if they were going to quick ban it, they would have done it before Dynamax, in my opinion. But who knows? Maybe they just really wanted Dynamax tested first. Uh, regardless, though, I do think the Shadow Cali is absurd. And I definitely do expect a suspect test by either the end of the year or if not the end of the year in January. Uh, so I do think this mod is definitely really, really broken. Uh, who knows, maybe stuff will come up after Dynamax is banned that will actually be able to really check it, if not counter it. So we'll see what happens. I do think, this, though, that this Pokemon will be so destructive, even after Dynamax is banned, that it's just insanely unhealthy for the format. Uh, but let me know down below your thoughts on Shadow Calyrex. If you guys did enjoy it, leave a like down below. Uh, comment, subscribe if you're new. Check out Teams and all my other links down below in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.